have a Texas Last Diet, your last diet. And health and wellness. I almost forgot to say that. <laughs> Rob, come on over here. This is my friend Rob. He's been my friend for like almost ever, I feel like. I feel like I know him and his wife really, really well. And Jody is one of those most amazing people that can take food like this and make amazing things with it. I have never made this before, and I'm experimenting on my friend Rob, and Jody's running late, like always, but we didn't say that out loud, right? Nope. <laughs> All right, so here we go. What am I making today, Rob? I don't know. What are you making today? <laughs> yeah, all right, guys, here. It looks really inside. good. It smells good. <laughs> so I've been cooking and roasting in the oven over here. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can leave if you want to. You don't okay. have to stand here all crooked and stuff like that. <laughs> but I'm making you burgers. Awesome. And I made burgers last week and I made the buns out of lettuce. And I'm not going to do that this week because you know what? You guys would be tuned out and you wouldn't want to see it. Today I've been cooking in my oven, my little handy dandy oven. I know you guys can't see that. Hold on just a second. There it is. See that little bitty oven over there? I cook in that and it's really hard. So when people watch my videos, they always say, well, what temperature do you have it at? I cook everything on 450 in this thing. I'm not recommending that in your oven, maybe 375, 475 is like on the high end. But take your peppers and roast them. Guys, these are fantastic. You can do these on the grill if you want to, but I don't have a grill down here. So I put these in the oven on 475 for like half an hour, and they turned out really great. Now, not only did I do the green peppers, I did these, look at these. These are some red ones, and I'm gonna build a burger with these using peppers as my bun. I know, I'm, my mouth is watering, so here we go. I'm gonna put my lettuce to the side and I'm gonna start with a green pepper, okay? I hope my burgers are done. I've had them on for a little while. Oh yeah, no, they're not even close to being done. So we're gonna let them cook a little bit. So I'm gonna start with my green pepper on the bottom. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece of lettuce just as binder, okay? Because I love, bind I love lettuce on my burgers. I mean, come on, who doesn't, right? Now, something really unusual, you guys eat this I mean, if you don't eat this, you're missing out. This stuff is super good for your blood pressure, your cholesterol, all kinds of stuff. Who knows what this is? Sandra, I see you watching. Do you know what this is? This is called Nopalitos, right, Lily? I hope I said that right. It's cactus, and they have it in the market, the one I go to, with all the little needles and stuff on it, and then they also have them packaged like this. They're way more expensive like this, but it's only $2.50, and I get a whole bunch of them. I scramble eggs, I put them uh, with the, my tortillas, not my ones with the corn and flour, I make them out of my moxie fit stuff. So I go ahead and scramble these, I put, cook these and put them over my steak, and how do I cook them? I cook them like this. In this pan, I have a stick-free, non-stick pan, and I just saute them. Now, you want to have them on a medium-high heat so they don't get all slimy. They're kind of like okra. They get a little bit of slime on there. Let that cook off. Put some olive oil on there, and I used a spice. I don't see it now, but it has garlic. Any spice you like, guys, spice them up. What's really nice, take a can of Rotel, throw that in there, put it over cauliflower rice, it's the bomb. I could go on and on and on all day long about how easy stuff like this is, right? So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on top of my lettuce. Not a lot, I'm just gonna give it for flavor. I watched Bobby Flay, who watches that? <laughs> I'm like, can you beat Bobby Flay? Well, they always do this, can you layer the flavors, and blah, blah, blah. Well, that's what I'm doing today, man. I'm layering flavors. What do you think, Rob? Rob's like, I'm in. Let's do it. Let's eat. All right. So I have my green pepper, my lettuce, my nopalitos, cactus, and then I'm going to put a piece of that red pepper on top. Ooh, man, that looks delicious already. All right. So I was going to put onion, but I think that's going to go ahead and bump off the flavor of the cacti. So I decided not to, and I'm going to use a little of my Dijon mustard. Not a lot because I really don't want to lose the flavor. <laughs> I, started, I need to start getting that lingo down, right? But I really feel it needs some tomatoes. So I'm gonna put just a little bit, you don't wanna get it too many tomatoes, just enough for full, some flavor. 
and put those on there. Now, let's check the burgers. They might not be ready. If they're not ready, don't worry. Usually what I do is I post pictures below of what it looks like all put together. And I know Rob and Jody and Lily will go ahead and write what they liked about it and what they didn't like it. Because sometimes some of this stuff doesn't turn out and it's okay. You know what? It's good, healthy food and you can take it apart and eat it separately. I can guarantee you, doesn't that look beautiful? Let's see how our burgers are. What do you think, Rob? You think they're done? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, he's open. Yeah. They're going to need a little bit more. You guys want to take a look? I cook them on the Joe Foreman over here. Check it out. I'll show you. I'll uh, pick this one right here because that one looks like it's the most done. And I'll put it on here just to kind of show you what it looks like. Now what I would do is I take another little pepper, put it on top. Let's do the small one right here so you guys can kind of see it. There you go. There's my burger for the day. Come on, guys. Doesn't that look delicious? And you're saving your heart, filling your belly. And guess what? I made this whole lunch for four people with a half a pound of hamburger left over and no bolitos left over and some peppers, all for under 20 bucks. That's how we do it here at Texas Last Diet. Remember, scroll down and look at the end pictures. You can see how good they are. And you can see my setup here so you guys can come by and have lunch with me sometime, right? See you guys later. Have a super weekend and all be safe, okay?